I'm Elizabeth, and in this screencast, I'm going to introduce you to PizApp.com, a free online graphics editor, and I'll show you how it can be used in a social studies classroom. Let's begin by going to our website, www.pizapp.com. All you have to do is click on Start. There's no, regi no registration required. PizApp allows you to work with images from a variety of sources. You can use a webcam connected to your computer, or you can edit photos from social networking sites or sites like Flickr or Picasa. You can also select a background or photo from within PizApp.com, or you can upload a photo, and that's what we're going to do today. So here I am now in my Ellis Island Photos folder, and I'm going to double click on the image that I want, and it'll appear in a moment in my work area. What I'm going to do today is something very simple. I'm just going to add dialogue and thought bubbles to this image so that I can show what immigrants who arrived at Ellis Island might be thinking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a talking bubble, and I'm going to place it on my picture. Since I want this immigrant right here to say something, I'm going to go ahead and rotate the image of the bubble a little bit so that it points to her. And if I want to start writing, I'm just going to click right inside that text box. And she might be thinking something like, it is strange to be in the sunlight after being on the ship. Once I've decided that I'm finished with this text, I can go ahead and press my checkbox. Another thing I might want to do is have a thought bubble. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my thought bubble here near one of the male immigrants. And if I notice that the thought bubble is a little bit large, I can go ahead and grab the corner of the image and resize that thought bubble so that it doesn't cover another person in the image. I can also change the direction of that thought bubble so that it is pointing, the bubbles, little dots on the bubble are pointing toward the immigrant that I want. So this person might be thinking, once I leave Ellis Island, my new life will begin. This is a very simple way to use this photo editor. Once I'm done, once again, I can go ahead and press the check mark. And if I'm ready to save and or share my work, all I have to do is click here on this green button that says Save and Share. I'm going to download this image to my computer, and it's going to save as a PizApp document, which I can later insert into a Word document. So here it is. It's going to save into my LS Island folder, and it's as simple as that. My PizApp document is a JPEG file, which I can print out individually, or I can enter into a PowerPoint document or a Word document. In this screencast, I showed you just a couple of simple tools that PizApp.com has to offer. PizApp.com can be used as an introduction to more advanced photo editors like Adobe Photoshop. As you can see, it can also be used to let students show their higher order thinking in the social studies classroom, and in this case, put themselves in the shoes of immigrants who came through Ellis Island. Thank you very much.